Let's do a book haul. Hi. Oh well. Do you want to do a book haul? You don't know what that is. But you are always here for them. Anyway, I'm feeling mildly chaotic today. Hey, hi, hello, what's up? I'm Allie, welcome back to my channel. June was my birth month. So many of you sent me some fabulous gifts. So I am going to be opening some of those today. But I, of course, this is just my normal book haul as well. So I got some other books to talk about. So let's unbox some things and get into it. So let's start with today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. If you don't know what Book of the Month is, it is a monthly book subscription service. I've been a long time user. Several great selections each month. Something for everyone. They got something for like each genre. Some of my favorites are their mystery thriller picks. They do a great job selecting those. And basically you go in each month, you pay a really fantastic price for a hardcover book and you get to choose from one of their selections for the month. They also recently released a podcast called Virtual Book Tour, which I love. And basically it is where the editorial director and assistant talk about the book selections and do interviews with some of the authors. You can get the pick and then listen to the author talk about the awesome book that you have picked. If you're interested in Book of the Month, I do have a code. You can use Hardback Hoarder to get your first book for $9.99, which is a fantastic deal, by the way for a hardcover book. Again, I look forward to their books every single month. I think the price is great. I love that you are guaranteed a good read. It is reliable and it's just fantastic to come home and see book mail on your doorstep. It's lovely. So let's see what I selected for the month. I have two of the picks, but they have several different picks each month to choose from. They have the fantastic blue box, which I love and I tend to hoard. Look, they actually have their virtual book tour on their bookmark. Fantastic. Take a break from reading to listen to us talk about reading. Oh, this is fantastic marketing. Book of the month, just want to let you know. Fantastic marketing. I swear. Also, you've got great taste. Sure do. You bet your bottom dollar. All right, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Look at this cover. Look at this cover. Look at this cover. Um, I'm actually obsessed. I believe it's like a love story. It's about these people that meet and they are brilliant together. They're brilliant and they set some things in the video game world. I was obsessed with the video game world. Those who don't know, I'm a gamer girl. I'm a gamer girl, okay? And the fact that these are two brilliant people and it spans their success story over the years and how fame and their their brilliantness doesn't keep them from betrayal and heartache and things like that. So I thought it sounded absolutely fantastic. And also the cover. And then the other thing. Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. It is The Bodyguard. And this is like a, a bodyguard romance story. But she is his bodyguard. He is hired because he has a corgi breeding stalker. Which makes me feel things as a corgi owner. What's wrong with that? Um, but he has a stalker and basically he doesn't want his family to know that he has a stalker and that he needs this bodyguard. They have to fake date in front of his family. And you know how I feel about fake dating. I fucking love it. I'm so excited. So anyway, that's my book of the month. So many more fantastic ones on the website. Again, make sure that you go and check them out. A link down below if you want to learn more about book of the month. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you book of the month for sponsoring this video. And don't forget you can use hardback order to get your first book for $9.99. I do want to talk about, I did open up some birthday gifts already on my 24 hour stream. So I just want to quickly showcase those. Chris sent me one, a planchette Funko. I'm obsessed. Obsessed if you don't know. I love spooky shit. The most gorgeous reading tabs of all time. I mean gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous girls match their reading tabs to their book covers. Sent me Gallant by B.E. Schwab. I've heard really mixed things. Oh, 
Ooh, I'm a moment. I am a moment right now. Anyway, I don't know anything about this. Just know people have been losing their shit over this in both good and bad ways. And also it's a very interesting design. Why is it so wide? Basically, this is about a woman who feels like she doesn't belong anywhere and she comes across her mother's letters. She gets a letter and she comes across her mother's journal basically about going to Galleon. But her mother has said, do not go there. But she's like, this letter came, so I gotta go. You know what I mean? So she goes and the place is kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy and no one will tell her what is haunting the family there and also what happened to her mother. So that's like kind of suspicious. That's kind of weird. Also got me the sister who ate her brothers. And this is by Jen Campbell, who is actually a fellow booktuber here. So I will leave a link to a channel down below so you can check that out. But this is just looks so gorgeous and fun. And I'm so excited to get to this. I mean, like there's illustrations and shit in it. And it just looks beautiful. I cannot wait to read this. I'm hoping to get to it very soon because I think it is just Lovely, 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 lovely. This is uh, basically just gruesome tales. Thank you, Chris, for those gifts. On to some of the packages that I got. So, let's see what is inside of here. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <gasps> Ooh, awesome! Okay, this is my best friend's exorcism, and I think this is one of the only ones I don't own and haven't read, and I think I've just been kind of put off by the exorcist type thing. The exorcist just seems like one of the most terrifying things ever, so I've kind of just been putting it off, but I'm super excited about this. I love the, the design. I just, I feel like the design of his books are always just fantastic. So this is about two friends who I think go skinny dipping, and then one of them starts acting super strange and weird after that, and so as the other one is like digging into what's going on, they have to figure out if they can beat the devil. I like it, Picasso. Oh my gosh, this is from Charlene. Oh my gosh, thank you, Charlene, so very much for the book. I'm so excited. Hopefully, you will see me reading this in some reading sprints. Fantastic. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, when you send me a gift from Amazon and it comes with a cute little gift receipt, I actually tape that into the books that it came with, or at least one of them. That's way I know that it came from someone all the time because I'm forgetful. It's a suspicious box. It's suspicious, it's suspicious, suspiciously light. And I'm nervous about what that means. Could be in here. That doesn't tell me who it's from. This tells me who it's from. This also doesn't tell me who it's from. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, this is from Haley. Haley. Oh my gosh, Haley. Also, you're gonna see me. <gasps> I'm so excited. For those who don't know, I'm a massive dead by daylight player it's my favorite name and the huntress i love the huntress she's iconic and i really want to do a huntress cosplay or at least make the mask to hang in the background of my stream so now i can start the diy process of making the huntress mask so thank you so much Haley. i'm so excited and i'll probably do a lot of it on stream On to the next one. I have two fairy loot boxes here. I forgot to do unboxings for them. They kind of got lost in all the chaos that was the rest of the stuff that was happening. So let's quickly unbox them. A mug. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I wasn't gonna open anything, but I need to see what the mug looks like immediately. Uh, immediately. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is the mug. I'm obsessed with mugs this looks kick-ass killer it's purple inside oh <gasps> there's a little moon and clouds inside oh my god that's so cute okay anyway are just tea strainer <gasps> oh my god this looks so cool okay so you put it over the mug you put you put this on a mug and then you put this and then you got your tea oh my god this is so cool it is a reaping tool whatever the hell that's called oh my god this is so neat i love this fantastic tarot cards who are you? Why do I feel like these might be? Oh, 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 I know who's from these Twisted Bonds. These Twisted Bonds. I'm like, who do I know these from? Is that right? I've lost a spoiler card. Hollow Vows. That's what I meant. These Twisted Bonds, I think, is the second one. Anyway, fantastic. Oh, I'm loving this purple. That's a very nice purple. Oh, fantastic. Comes with our bookmark, comes with character art, it comes with a fairy scoop. The Stardust Thief. I have this book. I have this book somewhere. 
Where did it go? S. S, 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 S. It's not in the S's? What did I do with it? Ow! The normal copy, and then I have the fairy loot copy, obviously. I'm going to be keeping the fairy loot copy. This is about a woman who catches the eye of the sultan, and basically, he makes her go search this for this magical artifact and she has to go with his eldest son and also a bunch of bodyguards and like all kinds of other stuff and chaos ensues and i feel like it's gonna be i've heard good things so far so we'll see how it goes just came like a day ago but it was still june then so it's counted in this haul oh this is a cute cute artwork okay this is chosen ones cool Oh, this is a really, okay, I love book sleeves. This looked like an Atlas 6 book sleeve. It looks fantastic. It's really durable. It's got a really nice zipper on it. These are my favorite to take places because I just throw, actually, I have one right, literally right beside me, and I throw my pins and highlighters and all kinds of stuff in here. Also great for journaling. If you want to keep all your journaling stuff together that you carry around with you, your bullet journal stuff, just throw it all in here. Zip it up. Good to go. Oh, and I love this design. I love it. It's fantastic. I know I keep looking at the viewfinder. It's so I can ensure that you're seeing the beauty and the grace of everything that I'm showing your face. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Ooh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love trinket dishes for just anything. Uh, put these on your desk. Put your memory cards in them. There you go. Fantastic time. Oh my god. Twin crowns. This is beautiful 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 oh my god and the pages oh <gasps> beauty and the beast anyway i don't know why i said that so we are following two different sisters one is the heir to the throne she is trained from birth to fear the witches that killed her parents and she will do anything to defend her kingdom the other one is stolen from the power pow the palace the palace and she is a secret sister no one knows about. She's going to take over. She is going to protect the witches who raised her and fight against her sister. Ooh, I like it. Fancy. Where did I put all the books I've been getting? Uh, paper tabs? Oh, paper tabs. Tabs, tabs, tabs. I like. Oh, my God. They're daggers. They're daggers. Oh, my God. These are so cute. Will I use them? No, because they're too cute to use. And that's what we do with stationery that's too cute to use. We hoard it. Character art. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Girl, I'm in love. And our tarot cards, which I think these are characters from, from Blood and Ash. Don't quote me, but they look like it. They look like they're from Blood and Ash. Is that Poppy and Hawk or Hunt or whatever the hell his name is? Oh, my God. Yellow? That's a choice. That is a choice, and I'm interested to see what we're doing with that choice. Two weddings, three funerals, one more chance to save them all. What is this? The Vicious Grace? Oh my god, I love the artwork on here. The artwork is a moment. This artwork is a moment. Um, oh, there is actually some, some more of a design on the side. It looks like lemons. Okay, her gift is supposed to magnify a partner's magic, not kill every suitor she touches. Demons devour everything in her home. Her own soldiers try to assassinate her. Desperate, she hires Dante, an outcast marked as a killer, to become her personal bodyguard. More bodyguard romances. Anyway, package has been through some shit. It has seen some shit in its time. So, I feel like this is a very worthy package of me. You know what? <laughs> just... This one. Who's this from? Who's this from? <gasps> from Chris! Oh my god, Chris. Chris, I wasn't expecting more. <gasps> a mirror mended. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited because Alex E. Haro has become one of my all-time favorite authors. And first of all, these colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with her writing. And she's been doing this like fractured fables series. Make some social commentary on them and whatnot. So this one, I loved her one about um, Sleeping Beauty. Because Sleeping Beauty is my favorite. Okay, so this is a continuation. Oh, this is a continuation. 
So, so basically we follow the character who is done dealing with, you know, s saving princesses. So, okay, this one is about Snow White's evil queen has found out how her story ends and she's desperate for a better ending. She needs help before it's too late. So excited, did not realize that we were like continuing. For some reason I was thinking it was gonna be like separate, kind of like uh, Every Harder Doorway series, but I'm obsessed and Alex E. Haro's writing is absolutely fantastic. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa, we're living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Whoa, we're living on a prayer. Anyway, another one. This one, happy birthday. Thank you for being amazing. Love the 24 hour reading sprints from Leanne. Oh my gosh, Rasselas. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, well, um, I am going to link any booktubers down below, but definitely Leanne's channel because absolutely fantastic. Daughters of the Lake. <gasps> gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I want to recreate this look. Probably not though, because I'm deathly afraid of water. Turning to her parents' home on Lake Superior to pull herself together, only discover the body of a, mo a murdered woman of the woman's gown is an infant. But Kate has seen this woman before in her dreams, so this is fucking weird, right? Like, we're creeped out. A um, hundred years ago, a love story ended in tragedy. Its mystery is left unsolved. It's time for the lake to give up its secret. So there's a folktale involved that has been whispered over generations, and now Kate needs to listen and figure out what has happened. Come together only in dreams to right the sinister wrongs of the past. This sounds amazing. Absolutely amazing. I realize these things are on my wish list, but I don't think y'all realize how bad my memory is. We have one more package. So, happy birthday. Thank you so much for all the bookish content you create. Watching your videos lights up my day from Sash Reads. Thank you. And also, hey, I got your book. <laughs> Thank you so much. And it is the Black Gotch Drums. This is one of my all time favorite novellas in the world. And I'm so excited. I really wanted a copy and I cannot wait to reread this because it is so absolutely fantastic. I listened to it the first time and I feel like I missed so much that is happening. It is basically an alternative history and it is also based around African mythology and is based around the Black God's Drums, which is a weapon that this young teen, she is like out on the streets living her life and she wants to board this boat in order to seek out this weapon. It is so good. It's so good. Honestly, if you have not picked this up, do yourself a favor. If you like mythology, do yourself a favor. It's good shit, okay? Thank you, Sash, so much. Are too good for me. Oh my god, girlfriend. We don't need to walk on the boxes to get where we're going. Okay. Whoa, dee dee. I almost fell. I do have a few more things that I acquired. First one I bought for vibes because I saw this and I was like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. It is called The Hidden Evil. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. First of all, she had once despised the arrogant young Duke until her heart betrayed her. Now she knew if he didn't love her, she would die. And I tell you what else won me over. Uh, on the, in the front page, it says Queen of Evil. And then there's also like more romances to look for and it's Go to Thy Deathbed is one of them. My Soul to Keep is one of them. The Witches of Omen is one of them. Dark Carnival, The Devil's Own, Willow Weep, The Serpent Heart. <gasps> they just don't make books like they used to, do they? I don't even know what this is about. It doesn't matter. Um, gorgeous. Fantastic. I cannot believe someone threw this out. Um, I have the second volume of Devil's Line don't know what it's about have no clue this is a manga and that's that's it I don't want to read the synopsis because I don't have the first one so I'm probably going to get the first one and see what this is all about let me know if you've heard of it and if it's any good and if I should bother with it but someone was getting rid of the second one so I'm like I'll just take it yeah you know the adventure zone which is a graphic novel. This, I think, is like a D&D &D story. It follows three adventurers on an adventure getting guided by their dungeon master, which sounds absolutely fantastic. I really want to dabble into D&D, &D, um, so what better way than to read about it in graphic novels and watch other people play and not 
to it myself because it seems really overwhelming actually when I think about it and it just seems like a lot to take in. And I also picked up The Lake. I saw this and I was like, I don't know, I'm feeling really drawn to this. It's about friends who went to this camp and they are camp counselors now. And they just think it is so sweet how the kids are just like afraid of everything. But her and her friend have this secret that when they were there at camp, they did something really terrible. And they think, you know, it's buried in the past. It's fine. And then they get this message that says the lake never forgets. And then their past comes back to all that. And then I picked up three graphic novels from the library. These are all middle grade graphic novels and I have just was really drawn to these. There's The Lunch Witch, which just has a really fantastic illustrations inside, which is what I was like really drawn to. I'm not really sure. I think this is about like a lunch lady who is destined to help children or something. I don't know. With our crystal ball. We have the Dam Keeper. And again, mostly picked this up because the artwork inside is just beautiful. And this follows Pig. Now his father built this dam. And then after he built the dam, he disappeared into the fog. So now Pig is left to deal with the dam and he is trying constantly to keep up with everything and he has his friend fox and the bully hippo in town and then this black fog starts rolling in and they have to try to fight against it to save the town and then the last one we have is bear and this is about a guide dog who ends up losing his sight and feeling like he's lost his way he ends up listening to some misguided raccoons on a journey to get his sight back and goes on a life life lesson journey, I'm assuming, in order to figure out more about himself. But I thought, this looks so cute. Look at all oh, my little precious little bean. Little precious little bean. That is everything for my book haul. I just want to thank anyone who sent me gifts. Thank you so very much. It, like, just means so much to me that anyone would ever want to send me anything and just to be my friend honestly so thank you my birthday felt extra special this year and i have you all to thank for that did the 24-hour stream there were so many great birthday messages so many people were just so kind and sent me things or come, came and hang out with me and stream so thank you all so much for making it just a really fantastic birth month so yeah, thank you. And thanks again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. And thank you for enjoying this chaos that has ensued in this video. And I will see you in the next one. <gasps> Bye. What if you thought there was a book in here and I said, <sighs> that doesn't work very well. I thought this would be a bit easier.